everybody, second video today. Today I'm going to be doing uh, Asda bedded white fish fillets. Uh, £2.35 I think there was. I got them last week or whenever I went to Asda, I can't remember. Uh, I've never had them before. And I love fish. So let's see what they're like. Uh, yeah, four bedded fish, white fish fillets. I think I said ferrets, didn't I? Breaded ferrets, never had breaded ferrets before. Um, yeah, I absolutely love fish. Now, I thought they was uh, battered when I picked them up. I only just noticed when I got them out of the freezer, they're breaded. So I don't know whether they do a battered one as well. But so it's just the just essentials by Asda. Uh, each overcooked fillet contains 256 cows. Yep, sugar, bits of sugar and that in there. Have a look at that if you want to have a look. Where's the ingredients? Uh, ingredients, there we go. You want to have a look, do what you do. Uh, formed Alaska pollock fillets. Nutrition. Okay, and how do we cook them? Oven, yes. Remove all packaging, place on a bake, pre heated bake and try the ovens warming up. Cook in the centre. Make sure it's piping hot. Okay, what I'm going to do then, what I'm going to do them on a metro roll. I like these, a few people don't like them. I like them metro rolls, I do. I'm an Aldi. So I'm going to do a, well it was going to be battered fish, but it's buried fish. On a roll, and I'm going to do it with uh, a mushy pea base and a tartar sauce tartar sauce top so why not let's open this bre uh, this breaded fish up anyway let me know if you've had these before never know I do really like fish these are the Aldi ones and they're quite nice ok there it is would that fit on the roll Oh yes, perfect, look at that. Bang on. Right, so what I'm gonna do then, because I also want to taste the fish on its own, I'm gonna make I'm gonna do two in the oven. But obviously I'm only gonna make one roll because obviously I ain't gonna eat two. And there's only me in the house who likes fish. So I'll get them in the oven for 20 minutes first. I might even do some chips with it in the air fryer. Uh shall I do some chips in the air fryer with it? Yeah, let's do some chips with it as well. Well, I'll get that in the oven then. I'll get some chips in the air fryer. Then we'll get the mushy peas on. Right, I'm going to do crinkle chips. I do like the Aldi crinkle chips. I think they're quite nice in the air fryer. I'm going to get a few of them in. Why not? Obviously, there's going to be a couple of us having some, so, uh, some chips anyway, so I'm going to get a few in there. That'll do. I'm going to whack them in the air for I'm not going to, because uh, these ones I do quite like, as I say. And I do find them quite nice in the air fryer without any oil on or anything. I do put a bit of salt on towards the end, that's all. So they're going in the air fryer. Well, I got myself a roll. Um, I've got a bowl there. I've got my butter. It's been in the fridge. It's solid, so I'm going to have to whack it in the microwave. Because I'm going to put some butter on the bread. So I'll get a bit of that cut off. I didn't think I had any proper butter, to be honest with you. Uh, I forgot to get some off the shop, because I didn't buy any more. But then there was, this was in the fridge. So I'm going to put it in the microwave, I'm going to get it all soft. There we go. That's good enough. About 20 seconds, that's all. Just going to brush it on here. I'm not going to toast the bread. I just want to get this butter soaking in. Get loads of butter on there, I've got to use it up. And I'm going to put that bit extra butter there. That's going to go inside the, uh, the mushy peas. Mushy peas, uh, 32 pounds, I think they was. You can make your own mushy peas, can't you? But I thought for convenience for myself, I'm getting these. I'm getting these in the pot. I'm going to get a spoon. Yeah, get it out. Who loves mushy peas? I love mushy peas, I do. 
Especially with fish. Using a teaspoon, look at me. Anything I can grab. Yeah. And I'm going to stick this little bit of butter in. And I want a little bit of mint sauce. Cheap powder mint sauce. Another spoon. Only you drop, don't need too much of this. You want to give it just a nice little mint taste. You can get actual, buy actual mint if you need to. That's what I have in the fridge. Nice slow wait till they're done, because we're nearly done now, it's not long. If you had some proper mint, it'd be better, but. Needs must. Right, I think the uh, mushy peas are done. Let's have a little quick taste with the mint. Oh yes. Oh yes. Turn them off. Chips are about ready to turn off, should be done. And the fish should be done. You have a check. Yep, yeah, fish looks done. Right, let's dish up it. Right, first things first. Mushy peas on the bottom. Oh yes, mushy peas. Then the fish. The fish don't look too bad actually, it looks quite nice. Let me get a spatula. Uh, there's the fish. Let's turn it out round. Let's put a thing what ha 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 There's the fish, some tartar sauce. So I think that was about 45p, I think that was. I like quite a lot of tartar sauce as well. Bit more. There we go. And the chips. And the chips look nice. Let me get the chips out. For bungee chips. There you go. I mean, they're not budget no more. I don't know that was like 150, I think now it was or something. Used to be like 90 pay, I think, or something. Oops. Get the camera. So what do we think? Yes, no. Maybe. A few chips. I did sort the chips while I was in there halfway through. Don't forget cheap budget meal. Oh yes. Right. Let's eat it before it gets cold. Right, I'm up the table. Uh, I'm on my own. Um, what am I going to do? Let me show you what I Let me show you. There we go then. There's the chips. Quite nice. There's the fish. The fish roll or whatever you want to call it. Fish sub or whatever. They so can use fish burgers and that can't you? But I thought, well, but I've got them for two thirty-five for four. And I've got a bit of fish on its own on a plate here. Uh, so I can just try the fish. So, let's tuck in. Oh, I've got some brown sauce and all. I like brown sauce on my chips. I'm going to stick some of that on actually now while I'm here. Because I'm not here to taste the chips. Good old Aldi one. Paying that price for the HP, no way. Or Branston's or anything like that. Nice cheap one. Um, let's just try this fish first then. So let me cut it open and we'll have a look. I think people have done these before, ain't they? Got off. There it is. Just cooled down a bit now because I've uh, been setting things up. Still smoking a bit. Yeah, cloth. Right, let's have a little taste of this fish. As I say, I do like the Aldi fish. I haven't seasoned this or anything. Mm. Oh, I don't like that. Oh, that's very bland. Oh, hold on. 
Oh. oh, there's not much fishy flavour. Oh, I'm quite disappointed with that. Oh no. Looking forward to this. I wanted fish tonight. Oh. Let me try the fish. Let me try my fish roll. Oh. Looks nice, doesn't it? Oh, I'm disappointed with that. This should be nice though with the, I'm hoping so, with the tart sauce and, that and the mushy peas. Let me get a big knife and cut it open. <laughs> oh, I'm well disappointed. I'm well disappointed. I mean, there was no, there was no point getting them. Um, the Audi ones to compare because I know what they like and I do like them so it just probably won't for me anyway. But there it is. Let's have a taste with it stuffed together. I can't taste any fish. All I can taste is the tartar sauce and the mushy peas. I can't taste any fish at all. Ah, oh, I'm disappointed now. I'll eat it anyway. You know what, Bab? Sorry. You know what? Fish. It's not very good at all. It's rubbish. They look nice. They look nice, but... They do look nice. Just not very tasty. There's no taste. Sorry, I don't realise we're still... No, you're right. Crack on. That's still feeling a bit... Uh, ain't you, Bab? Yeah, no, don't feel right. Don't know why. Coffee, coffee, She's just having crumpets for tea, she says. Quite nice, sweet, probably. A few crumpets, aren't you? You're doing them now, are you? Yeah, I'm, gonna have, I'm just going to have to try and I'll have some more later if I fancy them. Okay. But do you have a fish, fish sandwich? Yeah, it looks nice. It does look nice. That's it looks nice in the sandwich. Bread, it looks really nice. But it tastes... So, not very nice. It doesn't disgust him. Does it taste it, like cheap fish fingers? It doesn't even taste like fish. Doesn't it? Can't taste any fish. Now them Aldi ones I absolutely love. Is, is it sloppy? Is it not sloppy? No, it's not sloppy. There's just no taste. No taste. Does, does look it's not. Nice. It looks nice in that sandwich. Even though I don't like fish, that sandwich does look really It doesn't seem any taste. Now is it because it's breaded? No, because I've had breaded ones from Aldi's and a lot better than this. Before, you It tastes more like water. Is it? Mm. The water's got no taste. Do you know what? I'm not being funny. Most of that, that after the sexual stuff. <laughs> <laughs> it's all happened. Most of that. Got the dressing gown belt stuck around the door. Door handle. Door handle. I wonder what's stopping you then. Most of that after the sexual It's not very good, is it? It seems very. But I suppose if you. If you know. The way things are and mm. stuff, if you needed to buy it. Oh, don't get me wrong, if we was... Yeah, I would. I would eat... If I had nothing, if I had like oh, yeah. three quid in the house, oh, yeah, I'd go and buy it. Yeah, well, with some I chips. Of course I would, yeah, yeah, of course I would. 100%. You know, if you're hungry, you're... Of course I would, yeah. Down. I'm not knocking them for it, I'm just oh, saying. No. no. It's just, you know... I think... It's not for me. No. But if that's all you've got, yeah. then you'd buy it, wouldn't you? Of course yeah, you would. Of course you would. Of course you would. Absolutely. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not, like, I would as well. I'm not knocking it that way. If I was struggling really bad like that, I'd go, right, yeah, I'll go and get it. Mm. Of course, because yeah. anything in your belly is better than nothing, isn't it? Of course it is. Of course it is. Well, I've put a meal mm. on the table and mm. have a hungry belly. Oh, 100%, yeah. Could you um, hold it with some, some sort of sauce? I have. I've got, I've got tartar sauce and oh, yeah, minted, sauce. minted mushy peas on there, but... Do you think parsley sauce would, might do it all? No, it's tart sauce, isn't it? Oh, it's tart sauce. But it's certain uh, parsley sauce could, but it's not... But it's not that fish. It's not, it's the fish. Yeah. The fish isn't, doesn't taste like they look fishy. Good. They do look nice. If you know what I mean. Yeah. It looks nice in that sandwich. Mm. It looks appealing. I'm well disappointed now, because I was really, gonna, I was really looking forward to that as well. Well, I'm not going to eat it anyway. But as I say, I am the old food guy. That's not the best. I'm finding these essentials not the best, to be fair. Um, I've got a few more to do yet. So I'm not holding my hopes up for them, but I'm going to do them because people ask me to do them. 
Uh, I might get you to review one in the morning as a video. My favourite thing? Your favourite food? Yeah, I might get you to do You can review that tomorrow. Oh, I'll, uh, yeah, you can do it because I don't like it. You can do the taste test on it. Oh, I really love that. No, yeah, okay. No. Oh, yeah. So, on the next one in the morning, Nat's going to review it. I'll be there, but she can do the taste test on it. So, I say, I am the old food guy. So, like, you should subscribe. Till the next time. See you later. Well disappointed. Bye bye.